Hey guys. So this is going to be just a 15 minute gentle flow, mostly for the upper back. I think sometimes on the computer or on our phone or whatever we might be doing, we kind of maybe get some tension between the shoulder blades, at least I do. So this is just a gentle practice that you can do um, 15 minutes, take a quick break from your desk. Now that we're from home, we can <laughs> go into whatever room um, and just do what we need to do. So um, it's going to be grounding, it's going to be stretching, it's going to focus on that upper back, the neck, the traps, and those rhomboids, the erector spinae, um, along the spine in between the scapulae. So let's just come to our mats. We're actually going to start in our puppy pose. So puppy pose with arms out far in front and the hips stacked over the knees. So hips over knees and then hands out in front. So we're going to take a couple breaths there. And just really sink the chest down. The shoulder or the forearms can be hovering or they can be on the ground. And it's just a different sensation. So I notice if my forearms are down, I might feel it a little bit more in my deltoids, those shoulder muscles. Or if my hands are more down, my forearms are up, I feel it a little more in the entire arm. Just exhale, we'll be breathing in the space between the collarbone or the shoulder blades. Exhale. Maybe the forehead comes to the floor. And now let's lift the chest, walk the hands in a little bit, curl the toes under, let's find down or facing dog. Exhale. A couple breaths here. Really lengthening the spine, pressing into the floor with the hands. Now exhale, let's lower down the knees. Walk the hands back, then all the way up. We'll inhale to lift. And then exhale, bring the hands down, and then we're gonna come into our gate pose. So let's bring that right leg out with the arms up. And then we'll exhale, cross that left hand over, kind of twisting, so that hand finds the shin or the ankle, and that right arm lifts behind us. You can also bring the hand to the floor, maybe the knee, but just a gentle twist here. Reaching through the fingertips, that low shoulder kind of sinks down, creates space from the shoulder, that left shoulder to the right fingertips. And then exhale, come back up. Inhale, strength, lengthen and strengthen. And exhale, float that left hand down, reach the right arm up. You can hover to have more of a straight line if you want to come down with that hand. And then we'll inhale back up. Exhale, bring the hands long. And now we're going to fold forward for a variation of our puppy pose. So that hip stays over the knee, walk the hands forward, sink the heart. That right leg is long to the side. And if that doesn't feel that great, just come into normal puppy pose with the knees both in. If it feels okay to leave the leg out, then stretch that inside of the leg out, stretch the back. Exhale a couple breaths. Now inhale, dance with the hands. And exhale to walk the hands under the shoulders. And now bring that right hand under the heart space, or the left hand, sorry. And then reach the right hand up, and then thread it through. So you've got one leg to one side and an arm to the other. And then thread that needle, reaching that left hand forward. Just feel that upper back open up. The hips are lifted high. Notice how that scapula 
on the side of the body with that arm, that thread of the needle. Maybe it feels a little release. And just breathe into that space between the shoulder blades. And exhale, lift the head. We're gonna come onto that elbow, that extended arm that's underneath. Walk the other hand underneath the shoulder and then float that right arm up to the sky. Exhale, bring the hand down. So now the hands are under the shoulders. Exhale. And now let's walk the hands towards the knees. So back to center, inhale, reach up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Bringing the knees back to me. Let's come into downward facing dog. So you're gonna kind of switch directions on the mat and we're gonna lengthen that spine. Sink that chest towards the tops of the thighs. Maybe five breaths here. Maybe it feels better on that upper back to lower the elbows down for dolphin pose. Just feeling into the body, just kind of noticing if there's any tension and how we can target that tension. So that was my day today. It's how do I target that tension between my shoulder blades. And then exhale. Let's lower our knees and we're going to come in to our gate pose on the other side. So maybe turn with that long edge of the mat. So the left leg out. Inhale, lift the arms. Bring those shoulders down, giving our arms out to the side to check in where those shoulder blades are. And then we'll inhale. And then exhale, twist that right arm to meet the left leg. You can find the shin or the ankle, maybe even the floor. And that left arm reaches for sky. So we're just twisting. If you press into the floor with that hand that's on the ground, just kind of feel the the reaction in the back. Feel the back respond. If you're just touching the leg, it's a different experience. So just feel your way into this twist. And just see what your day needs. Exhale. And we'll exhale, come back to center, arms out like a T. Sigh. Inhale, we'll exhale, bring the arms up. Inhale, when we get there. And then exhale, come out to the side, reaching the opposite arm up. You can find the floor, or maybe you just hover the hand. Create some length from the fingertips to the fingertips. And exhale, let's come back to center. Inhale up this time. Exhale, fold it forward for our kind of variation of our puppy pose. So the hands come out and then sink that forehead down. We'll be here for a few breaths. Again, if that doesn't feel that great with the leg out, just bring the knee in and just find your normal puppy pose. If it feels okay with the leg out, then bring that leg out. The foot can find the floor, or maybe the inside of that foot. Just listen to your body. And then exhale, let's come into our tabletop hands. And then the right hand underneath the heart center, that arm that's on the same side as that leg reaches up for sky. And then we'll thread the needle through. So that shoulder maybe comes to the floor, maybe just the back of that forearm. And that right hand can come forward on the mat or wherever it's at on the floor. You sink the side of the head down. Just don't put a bunch of weight on it. And just feel that opening in the upper back. And maybe you notice it in other places of your body too. Sometimes I just like to have my forehead flat on the floor. It's just a different sensation. So really just feel into your body. Now exhale. Gonna bring that 
threaded needle through kind of onto the back of the forearm and bring that right hand underneath the shoulder, reach that arm back up. And exhale, bring it through. Then bring that knee in. Let's walk our hands back. When we'll inhale, reach up for sky. Exhale, bring it down. Let's send our right leg out again for gate pose on the other side. Inhale, reach up. Just a twist. So bring that left hand over to the floor or to the leg. Reach up with the right hand. And then exhale. Let's come back up. Lower that left hand, right arm reaches up. And you can stay in these different postures as long as you want. We'll inhale back up. Exhale, bring the hands in, bring that right leg in. And send the other leg out. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, twist. Right arm towards the Left leg, reach up for sky. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale. Exhale, the hand comes down to the floor, reaching up, creating space from fingertips to fingertips. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale and relax and lower. And then from here, child's pose, puppy pose, downward facing dog. I'm going to come into downward facing dog because I really want to just lengthen out that spine. I'm just going to kind of feel into this. So I'm going to come forward into plank actually. I'm on the side of my foot. Reach up for Bashi Stasana. You send that arm across my ear. Come in front, find some mo motion and movement in that shoulder blade. Exhale, bring the hand down. Finding plank again. Inhale. Then exhale over the other side. Pull the arm up. Send it long across the ear, just because that feels good on my side body and like the, the lat here, the side of my lats. Again, this is just kind of my day where my back was tight. So I'm just offering this to you in case you're feeling the same thing ever. I'm going to move my arm. And you're welcome to just hang out in child's pose here. Maybe you come into child's pose, you bring your arms to the right side and pause. Bring your arms over to the left in child's pose, going to the sides. So just listen to what feels best for you. I'm going to come back to plank. Okay, and then exhale back, downward facing dog. And then I'm going to lower. Exhale, rest in child's pose. My palms are down. If I flip my palms up to the sky, it's a deeper, or it's a longer stretch on the lats. It's more the entire back. So just explore that. Palms up and really reach for the front of the mat with the fingertips. And then feel it palms down where that stretch shifts. Just stay here as long as you want. I'm going to shift up and find my Shavasana. I'm going to hug my knees into the chest. If you're ready for Shavasana, just go ahead and find it. Rocking side to side. Exhale, lower the feet down. I'm going to let my soles of the feet meet. I'm going to just rest in Supta Baddha Konasana. 
Allow the shoulder blades and the whole spine to melt into the floor. Send my legs long. You're welcome to rest here as long as you need. Just noticing how the body feels, not even trying to figure out why it feels that way, but just noticing, being aware. Sigh it out. I'm going to stop the recording, but please stay as long as you need.